Viciousness is something that aesthetically should be restrained. It can never be vulgar. It's reassuring. It's elegant. It's tasteful. I don't think you deliberately sit there and try and design Britishness. I think it comes intuitively. Have we been interviewed together before? I don't think we have. Do we like each other? Yeah, of course we do. I came to the Royal College the year after you left, believe it or not. And incidentally, that's not because you're uh, no. younger than me. No, no, I'm I a little bit older than you, not much though. <laughs> but there were drawings of, of, of Jerry's lying around, he'd left some behind. I was quite impressed actually. The first time I really sort of met with you is when you were at TWR mm. and you were doing some work for us on, on MG on the I was on doing the body a body kit. kit for the MGF, yeah, and you came and told me what to do. I didn't like that actually, but... Uh, we managed between no, us. No, I don't, I don't think I did that. <laughs> <laughs> we managed between us. It was uh, fine. It was good. So that's the first time we worked together, really. I never thought we were working like this together, actually. It's quite interesting thinking of what's happened, and that was 20 years ago, you know. Is it that long yeah, ago? Yeah, it was 20 years ago. Yeah. Mm, doesn't time fly when you're having fun? Yeah. I wish drawing cars all day was our job. Our job is actually collectively understanding the car, creating the atmosphere of the car, but the biggest part is, once you've got the idea out, which is not the hardest part, I mean, it's actually protecting it, right through a whole process of hundreds of forces that come at you from different directions, whether it be financial, whether it be legal, whether it be you know, functional, whether it be manufacturing. The complexity of our business is, and complexity in the car industry, automotive world, has become far greater. The Royal College of Art is a platform for your creativity, mm -hmm. but you learn so much when you come out. It, you have to become a multitude of different yeah, disciplines or understanding of them in order to get your designs through. But having said that, it's still a great business to be in because we've been in it for a long yeah, time, we haven't have. we? <laughs> I think the, the thing that has made a massive difference to our business has been Tata. Not just because they love design, but because they recognise the importance of it. They do understand the value of it, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Personally, I'm really excited about, you know, the world has waited 60 years for a new Defender. It's about time we give them one. And when it comes, I think it will be a pivotal event in, in Land Rover's history. You know, the, the whole car industry is about to go through enormous change over the next 10, 15 years. And I think the changes that are coming are going to require creativity and design like never before. The F-Pace is, is an SUV, but you know, an SUV is, is a generic term. It just means the vehicle is a bit taller and it's got more capability. And for me, the F-Pace is still very much a Jaguar. It's still very much in the essence of a Jaguar. It was designed as a Jaguar. I don't see any confusion between the two brands. If you think about the way the market is fragmenting and we're starting to see all types of, you know, a proliferation of what yeah, I would generically call cars, SUVs, yeah. Yeah. certainly there's a big enough market out there um, for, for Jaguar to do lots of SUVs without coming anywhere near what we in Land Rover represent in terms of, of our, our values. We're both um, very comfortable with the situation. Yeah. I'd rather a Jaguar SUV than a Mercedes SUV or a BMW SUV any day of the week. My favourite Land Rover or Range Rover is actually the Range Rover itself because it, it says exactly what it's meant to be by looking at it. You can see it's a statement of elegance, a statement of capability. And I think it's safe just to what it says what, on the tin. It's exactly what it says in the tin, mm. and it just does it in such a beautiful way. So that's my favourite Land Rover Range Rover. My favourite car out of the Jaguar range is the F Type because it brings a smile to my face. If all we do is make people happy, for me that's good enough, and I think that car makes people smile. I think Jaguar suits. Ian and Land Rover suits me, but maybe we should, for a bit of fun, we should swap. swap. For six months, <laughs> see what happens. Yeah. Could be quite interesting.